Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Rob Motive. Today, I wanted to do a quick run through of the mods, the accessories, the stickers stuff that I've added to my 2023 Toyota Tacoma. I have a list. There are actually 27 things that I've done so far. I think I need to slow down. I can't believe I have that many things done already. But anyway, we're going to run through real quick. Let's start in the back, actually, or towards the back, and yeah, maybe on the side. You'll notice the Tacoma badge is gone here, and this is the first one, debadging. Got rid of the uh, sticker that was over here, and then the badges that were across the back. I did keep the Tacoma lettering in the tailgate because, frankly, I like that. Next up, the bumper caps. Got rid of the chrome, put some black bumper caps on. Then we have the hitch reverse slash brake light. This thing is bright, it is LED, it's a plug and play, and I'm talking about right there. Love that thing. Smoke tail lights. Had to get rid of those clear bubble looking like things. I'm not really a big fan, so we replaced them with the smokers. Now, let's pop the tailgate. You can see right there, we've got the Rob Motive customized flat panel for the tailgate. This actually comes from Snail Armor. You guys can see right there. There are discount codes below for some of this stuff. So if you like what you see, check it out. Up there on the back window, this is one of those very simple ones. These, of course, are the Rob Motive stickers. Very easy. Along the side, we've got Rob Motive magnets. Pretty cool little thing. Again, it's just something to personalize the truck. You can put whatever you want or nothing at all if that's what you want. Next up, wheels and tires. Of course, I had to go with new wheels and tires. Wasn't digging the brushed aluminum that was on there before. Didn't have a big problem with the tires, but I thought while I was at it, we're just going to go with something a little more aggressive. These are Falcon Wild Peaks, 265 70R16s. And of course, you can see black Rhino wheels. These do have a minus 10 offset. They give me a nice little poke down the side of the truck. Not too much, not too little, just right. Moving on, black mirror covers. I went back and forth on doing this and I'm glad that I did it. I like them. Uh, the mirror covers just pop off. They were electric lime. Thought the black would look pretty nice on the truck. Moving up to the front, we've got the smoked LEDs. These I actually had on a different truck. I had replaced them, I think, with the aux beams, which I might go with some kind of uh, amber down the road. I did really like those, and after seeing a few on different lime green trucks, I think they look good. We have the custom grill. This thing is awesome. It lights up. Of course, you can see it says Rob Motive on it. Again, something to uh, kind of uh, publicize the channel a little bit. Looking into the engine bay, I have a hood strut. I did have two, but I found these to be very disappointing. The one is okay. It holds the hood up, and it doesn't really skew it like the time that I had done it on my other truck. Uh, but my plan was not to only have one but I found having the other one on there was really too long and it kind of misaligned the hood. So I couldn't have that, went down to one. I will do something else in the future on that. A TRD oil cap, a little touch I had had again left over from before. I think it's pretty neat and I got lucky in spinning it on. It actually faces the right direction. Off to the right, we've got the aux beam switch panel or panel controller. This is to control electrical accessories like the Rob Motive grill that I have. Um, I also put an LED light bar in. I forgot about that. So that makes us up to 28 now. You can see the light bar in the grill down there. Moving into the cab. Might go back and forth a little bit here. I tried to keep my list consistent, but you know. We've got the seat poles. These right now are green. Not sure if I'll leave those or not. Uh, I had them, so I put them in. I think they're pretty cool. Moving into the front now. And by the way, there is something more I need to do in the back on the seats in the way of seat poles. But we have the Tacoma emblem blacked out. That, of course, was chrome. So we had to go ahead and get rid of that. Next up. We've got some blacked out door handles. These were chrome, of course. These are covers that snap on over the chrome handles. 
They work really well. They're on there tight. You'd never even know they were covers if I didn't tell you. Right below that to the right, we've got the aux beam switch panel mount. And what I'm talking about is this piece right here. I bought this because I could fit the switch panel controller in it for aux beam, and it also fit all of the other little buttons and things that are in there. So I rearranged them a little bit, but it's pretty cool. You've got to have that if you've got any kind of a controller, uh, particularly aux beam. You'll see a green button down there. That is a garage door button from my homemade Homelink system. In the center area, we've got a new shift knob. Haven't decided for sure what I'm going to do with that yet. I think I actually need to replace the shift boot. It's a little bit too short. It's a little bit too tight, I think. Then we have the glove box divider. Let's go ahead and hop in here, pop the glove box open. You can see the divider right here. It keeps everything nice and neatly organized. And speaking of organization, in the center console, of course, we have the tray that I love. Got to have one of those. Matter of fact, I've decided not to put a safe in here uh, because I can't use the tray with it. So we're going to just maintain the center console tray. I think it's pretty handy. Moving down to the floor well or foot well, we've got all weather floor mats. These are some less expensive types. You see there's no name brands on them or anything. Uh, got those from a company and there's a video about those as well. Moving on up, we've got the phone holder. This is my kind of custom setup. It's a rail that's screwed in in the back. Kind of, you do have to drill to put it in back there, but I found, especially with the truck that I just traded, you can't see those holes that are back there, so nobody would ever even know if you took it out. Then, most recently, or more recently, we have the Screen Protect. This is a, uh, an application to protect your screens in the truck. I've got it up there on the gauge cluster, of course the radio, and right down here on this little piano black finished kind of piece. Never had good luck keeping these things from getting scratched, and I know scratching is a big problem up there in the dash as well. So hopefully that, well not hopefully, it will take care of any scratching, fingerprints and stuff you get on the radio, things like that. Up underneath the foot well, you can't see it right now because I currently have it tucked under, but the pedal commander, uh, that is awesome. That's the number one mod on the Toyota Tacoma. Unless you love throttle lag, got to have one of those. And as you can see, you can't see it at all because I have the control head under, underneath. I'm using the Bluetooth on the phone to control it right now. Moving over to the right on the mirror out there, you can see a little round mirror. That's a, actually a blind spot mirror. I use it pointing down so that I can see where my tires are against anything I might pull up next to. Very handy for me. And lastly, we've got the seat stuffers down here. These were actually sent to me by a subscriber many years ago for a Toyota Tundra. They work in the Tacoma as well. They're pretty cool. People ask me about them all the time. And I'll tell you right now, I have no idea where to find them. I've never seen them since. I think he actually got them on eBay back in the day. Anyway, those are just 28 uh, of the current mods that I have on my Toyota Tacoma. All of these were pretty darn simple. Even the aux beam, I'd say degree of difficulty, it's probably the hardest one, but it's pretty simple too. Many more things to come. I've just gotten started and I'm already at 28. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of these. And if you have them, I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels. Mod Driven, all about the Honda Civic, and Rob Motive JT, all about the Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? And while you're at it, smash the subscribe button here. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.